A warm welcome to all of you to the sixth convocation ceremony of SVKM's NMIMS School of Business Management in Dor. We thank you for joining us on this important celebration. I am Dr. Monica Bhatia, your host for the event and faculty at SVKM's NMIMS School of Business Management in Dor. We welcome the cohort of 2024, the academic procession headed by the student council. Mannat Oberoi and Shikhar Soni. The three ordinary things that we often don't pay attention to, but which I believe are the drivers of all success, are hard work, perseverance, and honesty. Ladies and gentlemen, how beautifully quoted by Mr. Azim Premji and we at SVKM's NMIMS Indore have always striven to nurture the abilities in our students to work hard, persevere, and be honest to the goals. Today, a successful student stand testimony to the ability. Today is a landmark day for all the graduating students. This celebration is a heads up to the new beginnings. Today, our students move forward to embrace a new perspective, a fresh look at the future and all the wonderful possibilities it holds. I welcome you all to this ceremony. The core strength and differentiator of SVKM's NMIMS lies in the magic the faculty members spin in the classroom. As teachers, our impact goes beyond the syllabus. We are mentors, guides, and sometimes even confidants for our students. We witness their struggles and celebrate their successes. Each interaction, each lesson taught, contributes to the tapestry of their learning experience. As we celebrate our achievements today, let us also celebrate the collective efforts of everyone who contributed to their educational journey parents, mentors, and of course, teachers. Together, we have nurtured the seeds of potential into the blossoming leaders we see before us.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the academic procession. Let's welcome the academic procession headed by our honorable chief guest for the ceremony Shri Subhash S Mundra nominee of honorable chancellor SVKM Cinema MS University Mumbai Shri Akhilesh Rathi honorable pro vice chancellor and nominee of honorable vice chancellor SVKM Cinema MS University Mumbai Dr Meena Chintamani and honorable mentors of SVKM Cinema MS Indore Shri Arvind Bhatia and Shri Ajay Bankra director SVKM Cinema MS Indore Dr Anshuman Jaswal and associate dean SVKM Cinema MS School of Business Management Indore Dr Suman Chakraborty are part of this august procession holding the mace additional registrar SVKM Cinema MS University Mumbai Dr Ashish Abdaptada leads the procession the faculty team comprises of Dr Niranjan Shastri Dr Shubhangi Jore Dr Akshay Joshi Dr Gunjan Anand Dr Monica Bhatia Dr Anirudh Durafe and Dr Ankur Gangal I welcome you all kindly be seated a very good morning ladies and gentlemen i dr monica bhatia welcome all of you to the sixth convocation ceremony of svkms nmims indore school of business management we will begin today's festivities on an auspicious note by invoking the goddess of learning ma saraswati and seeking her blessings i request all of you to kindly rise again may i now request all the dignitaries on the dais to please light the ceremonial lamp ಯಾಕುಂದೇಂದು ತುಷಾರಹಾರ ಧವಳ ಯಾ ಶುಭ್ರವಸ್ತ್ರ request everyone to keep standing please for the nmims anthem
May I request additional registrar, Dr. Ashish Taptadar, to take over the proceedings? Uh, good morning, everyone. Now I request Shri Akhilesh Ratiji, nominee of Honorable Chancellor, SVKM's NMIMS uh, University, to declare convocation of 2024 at Indore Open. I declare the convocation of School of Business Management, SVKM, NMIMS, 2024, open. Thank you, sir. May I now request the nominee of Honorable Chancellor, Sri Akhilesh Rathi, to felicitate our Chief Guest, Sri Subhash S. Mudra, with a bouquet and memento as a token of appreciation and gratitude. Thank you, sir. May I now request Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor and nominee of Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Meena Chintamanini, to deliver her welcome address. A very good morning to all present here. Chief Guest for the convocation, Shri Shubhash Mundra, former Deputy Governor, Reserve Bank of India, former Deputy Governor. Reserve Bank of India, former CMD, Bank of Baroda, former Public Interest and Director and Chairman, Bombay Stock Exchange. Nominee of the Honorable Chancellor, Shri Akhilesh Rathi, Mentors, NMIMS, Dr. Anshuman Jaswal, Director, Indore Campus, the other deans, directors who are present here today, and of course, Dr. Ashish Taftardar, who was leading the academic procession, all other invited guests, dear students, very proud parents, all of you welcome to this convocation 2024 of the Indore Campus School of Business Management. Let me at the outset welcome our chief guest, Mr. Subhash Mundra, who has established himself as a corporate leader who is present here amongst us today for the conv convocation. We at NMIMS, sir, are really very grateful to you for you accepting our invitation and being present here amongst us today for this graduation ceremony of the School of Business Management. It's indeed a proud moment for NMIMS as well as for all our graduating students here today. Here, let me first begin by applauding all the efforts of all our students who are here today, who have reached this position today, as well as the support of the proud parents who are witnessing this event today here, live, as well as virtually, for the journey of the success of these students so far. <laughs> Congratulations to each one of you, sir. This graduation ceremony is indeed special for each one of us. I've seen this indoor campus grow right from 2017. And during the statutory body inspections, meetings that I was be being present here today, and in these last seven to eight years, believe me, I must say that the infrastructure has become a world-class infrastructure. But that's not the end. We at NMIMS want to ensure that the academic standards also match up with the reputation that NMIMS has established. In this endeavor, the contribution of this cohort of School of Business Management is absolutely immense and that's where it would be placed on record that this batch of School of Business Management has left a history behind in the success and the growth of this campus. The one MBA initiative, sir, for the first year, of course, which has already been implemented, has put in a lot of efforts by the faculty members and of course by the director himself, which has led to an implementation success of the first year and is going to be for the second year, of course, from the coming academic year. 
we are aware that the first few batches have a special significance in the history of the institute so you all must feel proud that you were one of these batches and from today on the nmis nmis brand that you represent will have more responsibilities on your shoulders when you step into the corporate industry as we all gather today to celebrate this culmination of years of your hard work dedication and perseverance i'm filled with an overwhelming sense of optimism and pride and today marks a significant milestone in your journey the management convocation 2024 it's a moment that symbolizes not only your academic achievements but also begins a new chapter in your lives one filled with endless possibilities and of course opportunities that are waiting for you while you are entering this professional world you must always remember that this is the time for introspection as you stand on the threshold of endless possibilities i am reminded of the profound words of nelson mandela who aptly said education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world so dear students armed with your education and management you possess the tools to effect positive change in the world around you you're not just graduates you're the future leaders you're the visionaries and i aptly remember henry ford once said whether you think you can whether you think you can't you're always right which means that your mindset your belief in yourself will shape the course of your journey remember this believe in your abilities trust in your instincts dare to dream big but greatness doesn't come out without challenges so as winston churchill famously said success is not final failure is not fatal what really counts is your courage to continue so this tells you that embrace failure if at all you have ever in your life and see to it that that learn from your mistakes but never lose the sight of your goal that you have in your minds firm in your minds above all remember the importance of integrity and compassion and the responsibilities that you have and treat others with kindness respect compassion you will learn that everybody would start having trust in you your credibility increases and you would definitely have loyal people around you and mms has always been very responsive to all the challenges it has faced especially in the past few years the vision of our honorable chancellor shri amrish bhai patel and the emergence of mentors at all our campuses has ensured that nmms is agile flexible and keeps the focus on quality and shri akhilesh rathi ji and the other mentors have been indeed a torch bearer all our torch bearers we have three we are fortunate to have three mentors torch bearers of svk mission to especially in the our campus we indeed fortunate to have such mentors at nmms sir thank you very much the level and standing of an institute is judged by its responsibility and the response that it gives at difficult times over the last few years at nmms we have ensured that the academic quality and the continuity more especially during the pandemic times have never been disrupted because of difficult pandemic situation the academic calendars have been followed to letter and spirit even at those difficult times this is on only possible because of the vision of our vice chancellor who believes in distributive leadership and collegiality that we have developed as a nature at nmms over the last few years nmms has been focusing on four building blocks the first and foremost block being knowledge creation teaching and learning excellence the stakeholder engagement and enhancing perception the vice chancellor has been building up all the four major building blocks simultaneously so that the visibility of not only the main campus but also of the new emerging campuses are as much as the main campus so this there in this direction a massive effort has been taken to ensure that there is a multi campus coordination and the academic delivery of the programs across the campuses 
is successful and is at par through a multi campus co program coordination activity which is a unique by itself so that the student who studies the same curriculum at indore and the student that studies the same curriculum at other campuses will have the same depth and the width of the knowledge and that is where we feel that nmms has achieved its academic quality which is at par with the university which is more than two decades old as we came as a parent trust has a great legacy and a history and a heritage of more than 90 years while the school of business management in mumbai which started as a school and an institute of business management then turned up into a university has more than 40 years of its legacy of course the university having more than 21 years of its existence with this we have received a special status in the higher education sector in india because of which we have the academic quality which has been proved by the nac grade which is one of the highest in india and that's the reason sir the hrd and the ugc has conferred by the autonomy graded autonomy guidelines the category 1 status which very few universities in india have been awarded and which is awarded to nmms since 2018 the last year we have scaled to newer heights it's not only the reaccreditations of acsb which is known to be a gold standard for our management education which is currently enjoyed by the mumbai school of business management but currently we are working on all the school of business managements of all our campuses to get into the umbrella of the same acsb accreditation which is a gold standard in management education The engineering school has its five programs in Mumbai, which is accredited again by ABIT, which is a gold standard in engineering education. The last year we scaled to new heights because the FT ranking, the top hundred FT ranking, we jumped from ninety eight to eighty three, and it's not that important that we jumped from ninety eight to eighty three, but it was more. Uh, of a, a recognition because the placements the alumni satisfaction the progression the diversity and more important a high women faculty percentage was because of which we were ranked and uh, this is a global standard again so we were very happy that we are on the right path of the mission that nmms has chosen dear students as you graduate you will be finding a proud inheriting the proud and privileged legacy which is called as the nmms legacy of values believes vision and sustained efforts to translate the vision and values into action this strong legacy of providing quality education to aspiring students not only is confined to a particular region but i'm proud to say that we have students from all cross sections of society and we have diversity uh from most of the uh, most of the states which covers india so we have students from all the places at all the campuses and we have students from all cross sections of the society as you enter a new place of work you should also sense and smell the legacy of that organization one day each one of you is going to become a leader with this own thoughts of and believes you should motivate yourselves I know dreaming big is important but implementing your dreams becomes more more important because what governs is the final results and the outcomes that's going to be visible to the society as well as to yourself as you embark on this new chapter your journey in the corporate world remember that the greatest achievements lies beyond your comfort zones so till today you've always been a student who's been guided and who's been handholded either by your family by your parents by your friends by your teachers but today you're going to step out of this comfort zone and enter into the world where you should dream big but never never settle for mediocrity you should be getting into this full life of possibilities and this would be possible only through your unwavering determination and resilience so as leaders you should strive to strengthen your organizational culture 
in all these efforts please see to it that you use your technology to the best of your ability and positively because technology penetration may plays a very important role tom peters once said great leaders don't create followers but they create more leaders so the legacy that nmms has provided to each one of you the hard work that you would be putting in to succeed has to ensure that you leave the footprints on the sands of time and if you want to be remembered dear students please follow these words as students emerging into the professional world you should ponder your leadership and legacy always ask yourself what do you want to be known for or what have you gained from your alma mater this would lead you always at the right path and always make your alma mater proud from today on once the degrees have been conferred you're going to become our proud alumni so stay to it see to it that you stay connected to your alma mater and whenever you could step in whenever you feel low whenever you wish that you want to live your college life don't hesitate to come back to your campus come back to your alma mater sit with your faculty members sit with the director sit in your own classroom i'm sure that's going to make you feel good and you can bounce back to work right from the next day remember these nmms ambassadors are always going to be remembered for you have a bright future you need to follow very few principles please keep this inscribed in your mind ever in your life that you're going you have been nourished by your family and institutions like nmms so you need to choose the right path you need to be sincere you need to be honest because your actions are going to reflect the nurturing of your family as well as institutions especially nmms so keeping this responsibility be accountable to whatever you do i wish to conclude by quoting henry ford who said to impress on the graduating students the importance of being a lifelong learner today you're just leaving with your degree every day the fast changing scenario you would require to update yourself so see to it that whatever platform you have re received from this during your graduation needs to be built on if you need to be successful anyone who stops learning is old whether at 20 or whether at 80 so keep learning and that stays young that will help you to stay young so congratulations management graduates the future belongs to you go forth conquer but conquer it with courage compassion and conviction i am sure this quote embodies the spirit with which you all graduates will embark on your career all the best to each one of you and i welcome you all again for this graduation ceremony all the very best to each one of you thank you very much thank you so much ma'am for your kind and motivating words may i now invite director in door campus dr anshuman jaswal to present the review of the svkms nmims school of business management in door for 2022 24 thanks ma'am for those very inspiring words so i'll just uh, uh, um, you know read the review of uh, this current batch 2022 2024 after successfully completing three batches of full time pgdm and two batches of full time mba the school of management business management at svkms and and mims indoor campus commences third batch third batch on 3rd june 2022 This is a common structure program along with three other of campuses namely Bangalore Hyderabad and Navi Mumbai This batch consisted of 132 students with 60% male and 40% female students The batch comprised 29% students from north 48% from the west 8% from the south and 15% students from the eastern regions of India The batch consisted of 72% fresh graduates and remaining students had an average work experience of 18 months the educational background consists of 74% commerce or management 15% engineering 7% science and 4% other stream graduates 
as you all know it was extraordinarily challenging to induct a batch that faced a lot of turbulence because of the covid pandemic during their previous education and work experience sbm indore commence with an orientation program for the batch of 9 june 2022 at indore campus the orientation program was designed not only to induct young students into a management environment but also to inculcate the values beliefs and attitudes required to be a successful mba professional the first year regular classes commenced on 13 june 22 which comprised 21 course uh, courses with 54 credits the batch underwent a 3 week civic week care internship during the third trimester and an 8 week summer internship from april 2023 to may 2023 during these internships the students learned a lot about practical business and social issues and developed a sense of belongingness towards society these students had their term and examinations at the end of every trimester and were exposed to challenging problems requiring higher order thinking skills in accordance, accordance with bloom's taxonomy the school organized soft, uh, soft skills workshop and employability workshop for all the students in the first year The second year for the batch commenced on 12 June 2023. The batch in the second year studied 13 electives across the domains of marketing, finance, operations, HR, analytics and strategy. Along with these electives, three compulsory courses, industry analysis, business simulation and innovation and entrepreneurship were taught to this batch. These help these courses help the students to learn macro and micro level aspects of the industrial environment. in the various sectors along with enhancing their entrepreneurial abilities business acumen and innovative approaches along with the regular curriculum there are 13 clubs or learning centers focusing on domain specific literary sports social awareness and cultural activities with leadership and participative roles the mba students did an exceptional job in planning and executing various activities through these clubs such activities have played a significant role in the holistic development of these students these activities include expert lectures case analysis and uh, discussion activities stock market games interactive quizzes newsletter launches visits to community service centers and upskilling with hands on experience with softwares and business plan competitions some of these activities along with a number of competitions conclaves discussion forums presentations expert sessions workshops and events were planned organized and conducted in offline and online mode the students got an opportunity to interact with top industry leaders from manufacturing services fmcg telecom logistics and finance sectors interactions with or uh, were facilitated with the hr experts marketing and sales experts cfos supply chain and analytics experts and other senior management personnel most of the students from the batch took lean six sigma green belt certification from kpmg and along with that all students did several certification courses from platforms such as coursera and edx the entire batch successfully completed bloomberg market concepts certificate eag certificate and nism kotak securities joint certification through orientation of capital markets workshop in addition other workshops were also organized for digital marketing during the social internship students were placed in the ngo csr departments and uh, government organizations across india for the summer internship the students were placed in diverse roles offered by companies in various sectors some of the major recruiters were amul icici bank ogilvy and mather ebro india geo creative labs crayon ntpc sbi life reliance retail team lease Quest Corp, IOCL, and many more. The companies that have recruited from the campus this year include Crystal, ICICI Bank, Wipro, Tata Advanced Systems, Schneider Electric, Jubilant Ingrivia, V Commercial Vehicles, Royal Enfield, Fidji Creative IT, Yes Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and more. Domain-wise roles comprise 38% marketing and business development, 17% consulting, strategy and uh, analytics. 26% BFSI, 14% operations and supply chain and 5% human resources. Despite adverse market conditions, we have successfully placed to uh, managed to place more than 2/3 of the batch 
and the placement process will continue to support the remaining students. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Tough times don't last long, but tough person does. The journey our students embarked on was undoubtedly filled with challenges, late nights of studying, sacrifices, and moments of self-discovery. However, through it all, they demonstrated resilience, determination, and an unwavering commitment to their goals. Today, they stand here showcasing their abilities and capacity to achieve greatness. May I now request Associate Dean, SVKM's NMIMS School of Business Management in Dor, Dr. Suman Chakravarti, to kindly take over the proceedings. I request nominee of Honorable Chancellor, Shri Akhilesh Rathi, to come forward to confer the degrees to graduating students. And I also request Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor and nominee of Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Meena Chintamanini, to come forward to accompany Shri Akhilesh Rathi. So without any further delay, let us honor their our students' accomplishments and celebrate the commencement of a new chapter in their life. So I'll be uh, calling the names. Please step forward one by one with pride. <coughs> Arti Menon. Abhay Singh Abhinav Raj Dean's list is not saying No, Dean's list is not normal Ask, ask, ask Abhay Singh <coughs> Runjun Rastogi Stuti Singhi Cyrus Gonzalez Rashmi Mandal Vinit Goel Ashi Varadwaj Mayuresh Salvi Vedant Nilakar Royal De Costa Deepti Yole Bhavish Doshi Pranjali Kumar Anshika Garg Pooja Devi Divyanshi Srivastav
निहान विश्वनाथ अभय सिंह प्रतीक गुप्ता परवी बेवाल सार्थक सेठी सानिया अनेजा अभिषेक तो यदि समरीन अहमेद ओके पाठक शिवम इज ऑल्सो एब्सेंट हां शिवम पाठक विश्व ठक्कर उत्कर्ष कनपाल अंकित पंथरी प्राची करवे नीरज राधिका एस वसवंत वसंत मन्नत ओबीरॉय एस सूरज रिदेंद्र पृष्टि सुमाधुरा गरे साक्षी जादव शालनी झा तेजस मखरिया प्रिया सप्रा श्रेया चौधरी प्रियाल गोयल सारा तुपड ध्रुव वाधवा सूर्यांश उदित हिमांशी मलुकानी वरुण इंगले ईश्वरी गुप्ता आर्य की नरकर अभिनव हलदर राघव गर्ग अभिनव राज प्रतीक शर्मा मोहम्मद गौसुल जमाल अनुष्का दत्ता करण भट्ट दिव्या लुहाना यश मसे प्रभाष कृतिका प्रथम परिडा नेहा शालमोली कांजीलाल आदिति सिन्हा सुकन्या दत्त राहुल नायर ध्रुवी वसोया नमन ठक्कर ऋषभ दोषी अनुष्का श्रीवास्तव आरती मेनन
सृष्टि शर्मा रोहित सिंगल अरितम रॉय प्रिया गडकरी मोहबानी मित्र ओमकर पाटिल राशि खंडलवाल शुभम बुराडे ईश्वर ज्योत ओबिरॉय काव्य गुप्ता स्पर्श गोयल पारितोष सिंगल लौकिक निमाडे आयुषी जैन शिवानी मोदी कुश भंडारी जयदीप अनगोल शिवम गुंबर ईशिका खंडेलवाल पद्मजा शर्मा मुकुल अग्रवाल रितुजा केसकर मनिकृत सिंह चिराग भिरानी किरण राउत अभिनव मोदी ज्योतिलचन दास आयुष अग्रवाल समीक्षा पाटिल नालीन शर्मा ओजस मिश्रा दीप्तेंदु बैनर्जी तेजस थोसर 
नमन कुमार अभिषेक नारायण गोपिका नायर सौम्या चड्डा ऋतिक चौधरी आशी गोधा सनद पांडे वैभव धवन सृष्टि जसमीत कौर धीरज पांडे अंशुल अंशुल लक्षर प्रियांशु पात्रो लक्षित जैन शिखर सोनी अनंत श्रीवास्तवा ईशिता मेहता विनित मोटियानी श्रेयस सूद मनोज शिवम ध्रुव जैन श्रेयांश सिंह रोहित चौधरी अक्षय गुप्ता श्रेया जाधव शुभव जैन सत्य ऋषि तुहिन पुरी रोहन कृष्णा मधुर कटारिया Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Honourable guests, one thirty-two students of MBA twenty twenty-two twenty-four batch have successfully completed the program. I request Honourable Pro Vice Chancellor and nominee of Honourable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Meena Chintamanini, to administer the oath on all those. who are present here and also to those who have been permitted to remain absent i request all the graduating students present to rise for oath i request students to have the selfies after the oath after the formal function is over thank you The last row can we start the oath please The degrees still need to be conferred <laughs> By virtue of the power vested in me by the board of management SVKM's NMIMS as pro vice chancellor I hereby declare all of you who are present here and those who are permitted to remain absent are admitted to their respective degrees i hereby charge you to uphold the dignity and value of the degree awarded to you by this university in your life and profession i request our honorable nominee of chancellor 
SVKM's NMIMS, Shri Akhilesh Rathiji, to confer the degrees. I hereby confer the degrees. Bow down and I. Thank you. Please remain standing for the sustainability oath. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I request Director Indore Campus, Dr. Anshuman Jaswal, to administer the sustainability oath. I pledge to champion sustainability in every facet of my life fostering collaboration and driving systemic change towards a sustainable equitable and prosperous world I will conserve resources minimize waste and protect biodiversity while promoting diversity, equity and inclusion in all endeavors. Ethical conduct, moral courage and accountability will guide my actions, ensuring transparency and governance excellence. With integrity as my compass, I embrace my duty to uplift humanity and steward our planet responsibly, inspiring others to do the same. I commit to being a transformational leader, prioritizing sustainability, integrity and social responsibility and making a positive impact on our world, on our world. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. I now request additional registrar, Dr. Ashish Taptardar, to present the register of the successful graduates to the nominee of Honorable Chancellor, Sri Akhilesh Rathi, for his signature. Thank you, sir. Each award being presented symbolizes not only the hard work of the recipient, but also the support and guidance they have received from mentors, colleagues and loved ones. This ceremony not only acknowledges the achievements of our recipients, but also serves as a reminder of the importance of commitment, innovation and the pursuit of excellence in all endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, to acknowledge the spirit of perseverance and consistency to the students of outgoing batch of School of Business Management, I would now like to request Director Indore Campus, Dr. Anshuman Jaswal, to announce the much-awaited awards and medal winners. I request our Chief Guest, Sri Subhash S. Mundra, to please hand over the certificates to the achievers of 2022-24. I request nominee of Honorable Chancellor, Sri Akhilesh Rathi, and Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor and nominee of Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Meena Chintamanini to accompany the guest. So, this is the Dean's list for the first year students Divyanshi Srivastava. Stuti Singhi.
स्तुति सिंह जी पर भी बेवाल पर भी नेक्स्ट इज राघव गर्ग सायरस गुंजालवस राघव दीप्तेन्दु बैनर्जी सायरस सुकन्या दत्त राधिका भावेश जोशी प्रतीक शर्मा मन्ना तोबरा है अदिति सिन्हा बुप्पल विश्वनाथ निहान now for the dean's list for the second year runjun rastogi stuti singh ji saras gonzalez vinit goel आशी भरद्वाज महेश सलवी विदांत निलेकर रूएल डिकोस्टर दीप्ति योले भावेश दोषी अंशिका गर्ग दिव्यांशी श्रीवास्तव
विपुल विश्वनाथ निहान now for the rank holder student list stuti singhi Cyrus Gonzalez Dibyanshi Shivastav Now for the best student award वेदांत निलेकर now we have the best faculty award for multi campus program coordination the uh, name of the faculty is dr niranjan shastri thank you thank you all the dignitaries and heartiest congratulations to all the awardees ladies and gentlemen i am privileged to introduce to you honorable chief guest of the ceremony shri subhash s mundra In a banking career spanning over four decades, Mr. Mundra has held several important positions in banking industry, including Chairman and Managing Director of Bank of Baroda, and Executive Director of Union Bank of India. Post superannuation as Chairman and Managing Director Bank of Baroda, he moved to Reserve Bank of India as the Deputy Governor and retired from there on 30 July 2017 after completing a stint of three years. During his stint at RBI he also served as RBI's nominee on the Financial Stability Board G20 forum and its various committees Mr Mundra was also the vice chair of OECD's International Network on Financial Education Post retirement from Reserve Bank of India Mr Mundra served on the board of BSE Limited among others and vacated as chairman of the board in January 2024 on completion of maximum permissible tenure of 6 years he was also on the global risk advisory committee of payu global netherlands from may 2019 till march 
Presently, Mr. Mundra is serving on the boards of several companies such as DSP Asset Managers Private Limited, Airtel Payments Bank Limited, Ayana Renewable Power Private Limited, Hevels India Limited, and Yashraj Biotechnology Limited as independent director and as non executive chairman of India Bulls Housing Finance Limited. He is also on the advisory board CFM Asset Reconstruction Private Limited and on the governing board of IMT Ghaziabad. Mr. Mundra is a regular presence on various media platforms as also a speaker on various forums. He has delivered more than 100 speeches on diverse issues with banking, financial inclusion and literacy, MSME financing, audit fraud risk management, cyber security, consumer protection, human resource management, to name a few, at both domestic and international forums. Many of these speeches have been published on the websites of Reserve Bank of India and that of the Bank for International Settlements. Amity University has conferred the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on Rikasa upon Mr. Mundra in recognition of his services in the field of banking and related areas. It is such a privilege to host you today, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now request our chief guest, Sri Subhashes Mundra, to address the students. Thanks, Dr. Bhatia, for your kind words. Good morning, all the dignitaries and the dais, the stars in the audience who for a change today are shining in the daytime, their family members, all the faculty members present here, and as also the other staff members of NMIMS Indoor Campus. Let me first thank Dr. Jaswal, director of this campus, and Mr. Achilles Rathi, mentor of the campus, for inviting me to join on this very important day in the calendar of student batch of 2024. I am really, indeed, very happy to be here. Now, first of all, let me begin by congratulating you all, the graduating student of year 2024 and also your family members who are present here. But the first thought which comes to my mind is to number one, really compliment you for your extraordinary discipline during the entire this graduation ceremony. No cat calls, no cheers, no hooray. I think this is a day at least I have seen in, in various campus that the administration also become tolerant if you do all that. So if you have any apprehension that it will be taken not in the right spirit by the administration, by the faculty, don't worry about it. And what you have failed to do during the award of degree, at least take a couple of minutes and do that. Do some... <laughs> See, now this, is, now this is looking like a graduation ceremony. It's not required in the life that all the time you should be very serious. And this is one day when you can afford to be, you know, as jubilant, as cheerful as possible. I am happy. Uh, I know during these two years, you must have survived many all-nighters. You must battle, you must have battled with many project work. But I am also sure that doing in all that, you must have emerged very, very stronger. And that will be really useful for you in the times to come, in the life now which is awaiting you. But what I think is most important, see, each of you is here today because of someone else. And this someone else could be your parents, your sibling, your teacher, your mentor. They have reposed their faith and confidence in you. It is because of their support and love that you got this gift of education and you know looking at the world with a lot of optimism i think while we are are here to cheer you all but i think it is for you to cheer all those who are behind you show your gratitude clear for them I know only, I was informed when I came in the campus that only few of them are in this audience, but all others also are a part of this through a virtual media. So I think your claims and your gratitude is certainly going to each one of them. 
now what i think when you entered this premises you entered as a vidyarthi and today when you are leaving this you are leaving as a vidwan now there is a very you know interesting uh, subhashit or shlok or couplet in sanskrit which says swagrahate pujyate jyeshta swagame pujyate brahuti swadeshe pujyate raja vidwanam sarvatra pujyate now what does it mean it means elderly people are respected in their house the head of the village is respected in the village king is respected in his kingdom but the wise people vidwan they are respected everywhere so you have become vidwan and you will be respected everywhere but this conversion from vidyarthi to vidwan who is behind that who has made this transformation possible this transformation is made possible because of this you know eminent family members who are uh, sorry faculty members who are sitting here as also the other staff members of this campus so i think again don't be miser in showing your gratitude to them as well i want this today at least you know this audience should be full of energy hmm? and showing gratitude showing this uh, positive attitude towards the others tell me uh, let me tell you forget about all the academic uh, lessons which you learn is going to be very very important in your future life which will be life in the real world so start practicing from today okay do it in ample measure now graduation day signifies that now we have joined the rank of adults and joining the rank of adults means now you have a lifelong commitment for paying taxes and bills okay be prepared for that but this also opens up endless opportunities for you and fortunately our country as it is poised today offers ample of opportunities and i am sure that what you have learnt here what you have equipped yourself with is going to be very very useful for you to make full use of those opportunities now once you step into the real world there will be thousand of advices there will be millions of suggestions from everyone because everyone feel obliged that you are coming now you have become the graduate and as an adult as parent as teacher we must give you some advice and suggestion and i am no exception so i am also going to give you certain suggestion certain advices now two things happened one i was given a certain allotted time but then i realized that the whole program is running more efficiently than what we had thought about and probably some contributing reasons from you are also that you didn't allow them to waste any minute in any cheers and all that now it has left probably me with some extra time so i think uh, i would like to utilize that i know it is painful for you because the celebration is awaiting and you would feel that where from now this problem is coming soon we get out of audience soon we can start celebrating fine i am just taking some little extra time not very much see i know giving long winded speech giving you uh, high morals is good good for the you know for the moment but it doesn't remain there is no retention so and this is this is the time when everyone is giving some point program so you hear about five point program 10 point program 20 point program so i thought i'll give you 11 point program but all these 11 point are like sutras very crisp one liner and which are not coming from any uh, book of management it is what i have you know uh, learnt in my working life through my experience each point can be elaborated for half an hour but as i said i don't intend to do that i'll just leave that point with you and leave it for you to reflect that you know what does it mean how you can use in your life and one more thing i want to tell you with all this sincerity whatever we tell you today if i say 11 things it may not be applicable to everyone because everyone has a different realities 
you may be going into a different field you may have, you may have a different personal circumstances family circumstances working circumstances but i am sure that quite a few of these things will be applicable to you so important thing is to derive your lived reality reflect over it and then see what works for you what doesn't work for you i am again reminded there is a beautiful share from nida fazli at least most of those who can follow is not a very difficult urdu also but he has given a very profound share that wo sufi ka kol ho ya pandit ka gyan wo sufi ka kol ho ya pandit ka gyan jitni bite aap par utni hi sach maan so that is the first advice i would like to give you okay listen to everyone reflect over it try to implement so coming to this 11 point program uh first thing now you are stepping into the real world right uh, some of you might have already joined some may be uh, uh, entering into the family business now three things are very important one is and as uh, dr chintamani also mentioned learner be a learner always if you think that you did your graduation today you have done your mba and learning is over you are absolutely wrong in fact your real learning starts today campus equips you but when you step into the real life you will find that reality of life is quite different uh, from what you know only the academic can tell you to so be learner and the most important thing about being learner is learning only doesn't come from the pundits or people like me who are sitting standing here and giving you the sermon no in a workplace you can learn even from the smallest entity even a pun which is working in your department he or she has a lot of many years of experience and some of the insight which he or she can give you you won't get from anyone so be a learner but once you start on any new desk or in your family business just do two simple questions see sometimes we know all that but we don't do it you are given a job let's say you have joined an organization you have given a table and say this is what is done here you also like a robotic or mechanic you start doing the same thing someone will tell your predecessor that this is what you have to do it and you will do the same thing i would urge you whatever you start you know service or your business just ask two simple questions number 1 whatever is being done here can i do little bit differently can i make it more efficiently can i apply my learning here can i put technology here so that is one simple question and the second simple question whatever is being done here can i do it little differently can i do something extra so just two question can i do the same thing differently can i do something extra here and you will find once you ask those two simple questions and you start reflecting on that you will find you are becoming a better worker you are getting a better recognition in your organizations from your superior so that is the point number 1 point number 2 which i fondly call myself is the theory of 1 2 3 now you would be wondering what is the theory of 1 2 3 i was inquiring you know after this campus placement uh, companies was becoming and sometime you will be facing a dilemma you have to offer three offers which one should be expected maybe there is one offer where a higher salary is being uh, uh, you know offered but there is other where you fall that job is more to your heart now the theory of 1 2 3 there will be many employer who will come to employ one person who are prepared to offer double the salary to but they expect you to work for the three persons that is the theory of 1 2 3 now if salary or initial compensation is the only idea and in this theory of 1 2 3 <laughs> you you are prepared to accept it there is always a fear of very early burnout you have to become a horse of long race you have to become a marathon runner not a sprinter so reflect carefully that what exactly you want to do i am leaving it here as i said each point can be expanded too much but that is not i intend to do and we don't have that kind of time the third thing uh, and which i have observed uh, of late that is the job hopping 
पीपुल थिंक दैट इट इज नॉट फैशनेबल टू बी इन अ जॉब फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इवन इफ यू इंटेंड यू आर लाइकिंग द जॉब देर इज अ पियर प्रेशर यू मीट विद द फ्रेंड्स इन द कॉफी शॉप एंड दे से वॉट इज रॉन्ग विथ यू टू थ्री ईयर्स एंड यू हैव नॉट यू नो मूव टू एनी अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर स्टिकिंग विद द सेम जॉब आई नो अनलाइक अवर जनरेशन इट विल बी नॉट रियलिस्टिक टू एक्सपेक्ट यू दैट ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी डूइंग ए लाइफ लॉन्ग जॉब बट बी लिटिल केयरफुल little flow in job hopping at least when you are working on one particular department or place learn something gather something then try to move so that is the third thing the fourth thing uh, you know everyone talk about iq so intelligent quotient and high iq but when you go in go in real life you will find that eq is as important or even more important than iq and what is eq emotional quotient you know you should have that empathy for the people who are working with you so eq will be very important and again a very simple thing if you are working somewhere don't think that you are working for a salary or if you are running your business don't think you are only working for the profit you should ask again a simple question that what is the purpose what is my purpose in doing this decide derive your own purpose even let's say for for simple example it's not a very complicated thing you are let's say you are in a sales division of a company now your purpose is not to only sell as many units as possible earn as many as uh, uh, you know profit for the company and earn as much bonus as for you this is all by product your purpose should be that what you are doing is ethical selling you are transparent in your dealing with the customer you are making the customer happy you know if they have any questions you are prepared to answer that simple thing a simple job and simple part as you move up into the organization jobs would be becoming complicated your purpose will keep on becoming higher but at least try for that uh next point uh, everyone will tell you you have to work hard and i also say work hard because there is no substitute to working hard but working hard i am not taking too much of time no because i had given an early warning so okay so but working hard is not sufficient uh, you know that alone is not sufficient working smart is equally important so while work hard but find a way of working smart as well the next point is networking is also a part of working again if you are working as a you know isolation solo member uh it will take you to some distance it will not take you to the next level in today's world so networking start from today you have you have this group where all should be network with each other now i think it is fifth or sixth convocation of this campus so there will be alumni club which opens up a huge networking for you and as you move each you know uh, activity or area you come you will find the opportunity of doing the networking so i think if you read you will find that many of the very major business decision in this world were not struck in the office they were done on the golf course and that is what the networking is so working and networking the next point is is okay to fail everyone tell you so is okay to fail no one can guarantee that whatever i will do i will only succeed there will be failures what is not acceptable if you fail again and again for the same reason it means you have not learned from your failures so learn from your failures even if you have to fail again fail for a different reason not for the same reason like the point number next next point again is very very important and i am finding that this is something which most of the people fail to do take your work very seriously right listen it very carefully take your work very seriously but don't take yourself very serious now in real life it actually happens other way you know you get little recognition you get little promotion and you start taking yourself very seriously whether you are taking your work that much seriously or not so take work seriously not yourself be relaxed in your working is is all right tall be tolerant if someone has spoken little angrily or little in sarcastic tone to you 
is not going to create cancer in your body you can just forget it it will be a problem of the person who is doing it right again you are in management school is the convocation of uh, management student and in any management course you go they will all urge you that you should start thinking out of box now you are under lot of pressure where to what to think where to bring something to think out of box is fine if you can do that and there will be ample opportunity in the world to think out of box but i always say there is enough inside to box think about first deal with that first deal with whatever is inside the box and then start thinking about outside the box uh and another very important thing is be ethical in whatever you do and i want you know expound lot on this but i'll give you a very simple definition what ethics is and always remember this put in the most simple form ethics is what we do when no one is watching you are watching yourself you are your own concern so that is what you should always remember uh the last point we have reached to the 11th point so don't worry and which uh, i have seen from my experience you know all these years that give more than what you receive in whatever way money experience you know sharing and i promise you you will get more than what you have given in the ways which you have never foreseen and it will happen again and again in your real life take it from me so remember that so i think this is where i conclude my 11 points but uh, don't worry i want to add three points <laughs> but these three more points are nothing to do with the uh, with the your working or your management these three things uh, are more in your personal life i know none of you would like them and i am also aware that none of you are likely to follow them but since i am here you are my captive audience at least i am i am i am going to tell them those three things are very simple number one like you know you must have all heard about uh, read about the steve jobs in in some way or other in your course and he famously said stay hungry stay foolish but i am just adding one more thing to that stay fit you are this overnighter and everything project work is all over wherever you joining there will also be pressure but i don't believe that one cannot find time of half an hour or one hour to regimen to give yourself that fitness you won't feel it today you won't feel it for next 15 years but if you fail to do it today you will start feeling after you have crossed the age of 40 so do something stay fit second point is good to be fast in life for everything but not good for one thing and that is a fast food so do occasional indulgence but don't become a victim to the fast food i know i said none of you would you know feel convinced and do it but but i would like to leave this thought with you and the third thing is again uh screen time social media social media should be a tool you should not be slave to the social media so do something in my personal life i allot certain time during the day and i have coined a phrase for that like we do fasting navratri fasting ekadashi ramadan whatever it is i call it a net fasting there is a certain given period in the day when i don't look at the screen i just keep the mobile phone away and i say it is a period of my net fasting so try to do that net fasting it would be good so thank you very much it had been a very energizing experience for me as well i would like to conclude here and allow you to go for your celebration but i am little fond of you know giving the quotes or some poem so i would end with a poem by harivans rai bachchan it is a quote from his very famous book madhushala and is the very first stanza of that madhushala because you know as everyone is feeling uh, what should i do what life is going to hold for me what should be my approach towards the life now many people confuse that madhushala is basically uh, mean to that evening go to the bar hit the bar order for the you know pegs because this simile used are like this but the meaning is very different so this very first stanza says madhuralaya madhuralaya jaane ko ghar se nikla hai peene wala don't take in literal sense eh? madhuralaya jaane ko ghar se nikla hai peene wala 
किस पथ जाऊं असमंजस में वो तो है भोला भाला और अलग अलग पथ बतलाते सब अलग अलग पथ बतलाते सब पर मैं ये बतलाता हूं राह पकड़ तू एक चला चल जा पहुंचेगा मधुशाला सो बी फोकस बी डिटर्मिन एंड यू विल रीच टू योर डेस्टिनेशन तो वंस अगेन थैंक्स कांग्रेचुलेशन एंड ऑल द बेस्ट इन योर लाइफ थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you, sir, for your invaluable words. I'm sure each one of us is going back motivated, informed, and encouraged, uh, especially regarding when it comes to net fasting and ethics. Um, sir, your words will resonate in all our minds for a long, long time. Thank you. Now, I request Associate Dean, School of Business Management, Indore, Dr. Suman Chakraborty, to deliver the vote of thanks. honorable chief guest shri subhash shas mundra nominee of honorable chancellor shri akhilesh rathi honorable pro vice chancellor and nominee of the honorable uh, vice chancellor sbkm cinema ms university mumbai dr meena chintamanini additional registrar sbkm cinema ms university mumbai dr ashish daptardar honorable mentors of sbkms nmi misindor shri arvind bantia and shri ajay bakra director sbkms nmi misindor dr anshuman jaswal distinguished guests on the dais esteemed faculty members proud parents and most importantly the bright graduates of sbkms nmi misindor on the occasion of 6th convocation of sbkms nmi ms school of business management indor it is a great honor and privilege for me to propose the vote of thanks i thank our honorable chief guest shri subhash mundra who despite his busy schedule took out time and graced the occasion today thank you sir my gratitude to our uh, honorable chancellor shri amrish r patel without whose blessings this event would not have been possible I would like to thank Shri Akhilesh Rathi, Shri Arvind Bantia, and Shri Ajay Bakra, honorable mentors of SBKM's NMIMS Indore campus, for gracing the occasion. I thank you for your continuous support and guidance. I would I would also like to thank and extend our gratitude to Dr. Meena Chintamanini, honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, SBKM's NMIMS University, Mumbai, for your valuable guidance. Thanks to Dr. Anshuman Jaswal director as vkms and mims indore sir you are always our support and uh, source of our inspiration i also thank additional registrar dr ashish daptardar as vkms and mims in university mumbai for your support and guidance i would like to acknowledge the effort put by our entire admin team for their perpetual efforts and endurance to make this event successful and memorable I wish to acknowledge the contributions and presence of all guests and parents for their blessings to our graduating students. I would like to express our deepest gratitude to all our esteemed faculty members. Your dedication, expertise and unwavering support have been instrumental in shaping the minds of our graduates and preparing them for the future challenges lie ahead. Last but not the least, my special thanks to media team the entire organizing team and the student volunteers for their interminable efforts to make this event memorable on behalf of sbkm and mims family i thank you all for gracing us with your presence on this momentous occasion it is with great pleasure that we celebrate the success and accomplishments of our graduating students and we extend the warmest congratulations to each one of them finally wishing you all happiness good health and success in all your future endeavor thank you very much thank you sir i now request additional registrar svkms and mims university dr ashish taptardar to kindly take over the proceedings 
नाव आय रिक्वेस्ट श्री अखिलेश राठीजी नॉमिनी ऑफ ऑनरेबल चॅन्सलर ऑफ एस व्ही के एम एस एन एम आय एम एस युनिव्हर्सिटी टू डिक्लेअर कन्वोकेशन ऑफ एस बी एम इंदोर कॅम्पस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर क्लोज आय डिक्लेअर दि कॉन्वोकेशन ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ बिझनेस बिझनेस मॅनेजमेंट एस व्ही के एम एस एन एम आय एम एस टू Thank you sir ladies and gentlemen as we come to the close of the 6th convocation ceremony may i now request all to present uh, to kindly rise in honor of national anthem janagana mana adhinayaka jaya he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravid गंगा हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे भारत माता की भारत माता की थैंक यू लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन kindly be seated kindly be seated for a minute thank you uh, ladies and gentlemen dear students as a signing off note i once again congratulate you all and welcome to nmims alumni family we eagerly look forward to staying connected with you as you embark on your professional journey kindly remain standing till the academic procession leaves the auditorium may i now request the dignitaries on the dais to lead the procession and assemble at the reception desk i'm sure these memories would remain with, with everyone present here for lifetime thank you everyone thank you so much speed <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.